Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 for some more legendary crafting. So with these videos, basically what I'm doing is flipping back and forth between crafting and cashing in script with Mama Mumbles so that we can kind of give everybody a little bit of what they want to see. Uh, I think there's usefulness to both, but today it's back to the crafting table where we're going to try to craft some legendary light machine guns. My goal, my hope, is that we get a quad explosive, or if we fail at explosive, maybe quad fire rate or even quad with damage while aiming. Basically, I want a quad explosive LMG with something halfway decent as a secondary effect. Will we get it? I don't know. We'll see if the RNG gods are on my side today. But before we get into that, remember, if you like videos like this and you want to see more, do be sure to go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. There's always a lot more to come on the channel. There's live streams every week. I do lore videos and all kinds of stuff. So there's always more to see. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. In light of this being an easy weapon to craft, I went ahead and just crafted a whole bunch of them to get us started. That way uh, I don't have to re-roll anything. I can just hold on to the duds and turn them back in for more script. If we need more, I can always craft more. We'll see how it goes. Let's start with one here. We'll go three stars and see if we get anything good. I've got, looks like I've got enough modules here for 11. So let's see, what do we have? Okay, so we've got a suppressors with explosive and our hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. The suppressor's effect, I just don't love. Uh, not a fan of it, haven't been a fan of it. There just isn't really a use for it. It's not that it doesn't work as advertised or anything like that. It's just not very useful. Most things in Fallout 76 die very quickly. So outside of a boss fight, is there really a need to suppress an enemy's damage? And even in those boss fights where they're basically just bullet sponges, there's not really a lot of avoidance or strategy you have to do, I don't know how useful this effect really is. And more importantly, I don't think it's very important on a weapon like this. This is a weapon where your ammunition is expensive to craft, so you want to get the most out of it. You want to get damage out of it. I want an effect that gives me extra damage, not one that doesn't help me there, or at least a quad effect where I'm not reloading as often. Uh, either one of those would be good. Sadly, suppressors is not one. Exploding bullets certainly helps. It gives you a damage buff. It's not a bad thing to have, uh, but without a good primary, I'm not sure how useful it is. Having a chance to generate a stealth field, again, not a bad thing, but if we're clomping around in power armor uh, with a loud weapon, I'm not sure how useful that's really going to be. So maybe it helps us hide a little bit, but I, I don't think so. Let's try again. Let's see here. We'll go in and do our three star mod again. And this one is very, very, very disappointing. An instigating with 15% faster reload and we replenish action points with each kill. So instigating got nerfed a while back and it basically sucks now. Um, it used to be really good. Now it's really not. There are a handful of weapons that do really high base damage where instigating can still be useful. This is not one of those weapons, so it's not very useful on a heavy gun, really of any kind. Replenishing action points with each kill, it doesn't hurt to have that, but it's much more useful on a weapon that you're going to use in VATS a lot, and most heavy gunners really aren't built to use VATS, so you're not going to get a lot of mileage out of that with this weapon. Faster reload definitely helps. Uh, if you only have 75 rounds in the magazine on an LMG, you're going to reload it fairly often. So that's not a bad thing to have, but uh, unfortunately, combined with the other effects, this one is destined to go back to the script bin. And let's try again. Now we've got a troubleshooters with bashing damage and 250 damage resistance while reloading. So the troubleshooters effect, one of many situational damage effects on weapons. Troubleshooters is one of the more desirable ones uh, because there are predictable scenarios where you're going to use it. You can use it in daily ops against robots. You can use it as an, at encrypted. Use it when you're clearing silos. So there's a usefulness to the troubleshooter's effect. It's not what I'm looking for today, though, so that's kind of disappointing. Bashing damage increased by 50% is a great big old who cares. And 250 damage resistance while reloading, again, is a great big who cares. I guess it doesn't hurt to have it, but it's not really doing much for me. 
Bashing damage is worthless, so yeah. Let's try again here. Uh, disappointed in that one. And what I'm thinking here is I'm not super concerned about the third star. So maybe it would make more sense to roll two stars because then I would get more chances at getting the effects I actually want. A good third effect would be great, but better two stars would be ideal. So unfortunately, we didn't get that with this one. Uh, this is a ghoul slayer. So again, situational effect, 50% more damage to ghouls. Not a horrible thing to have, but not something you're really going to rely on. Ghouls are super squishy anyway, so not really getting a lot of mileage out of that effect. And then we have the last round in the magazine, the last shot effect, where you get a 25% chance to deal double damage. Who cares? Especially on a weapon like this. This effect, the more I think about this effect, every time I get a weapon with it, the more it irritates me. It's just stupid. So a weapon like this, we have a 1 in 4 chance to deal double damage with the last round in a magazine, and that's the key. So, number one, we have 75 rounds in the magazine. One in four chance, that means a one in 300 chance to deal double damage with one bullet. How worthless is that on this? Let's try again. Okay, here we go. Come on. Nope. All right. Hunter's Light Machine Gun with Vat's Hit Chance. Hunter's Effect, 50% damage against animals. Another situational effect. I actually kind of like that effect on armor because there are some animals in the game that can deal pretty serious damage, like Yao Guai, uh, but I don't love it on weapons unless you're just kind of into role-playing as a heavy gunner or a, a big game hunter. I just don't really see it being all that useful. That's hit chance here on any number of weapons. That is a fantastic effect to roll. Unfortunately, unless you're somebody who's using the LMG like a rifle, and there are people who do that, but... Unless you're doing that, you're not really getting a lot of mileage out of this if you're using it as a heavy gunner with heavy gunner perks and power armor and all that. You're really just not going to get a whole lot out of that. So this one's definitely a dud. Let's see what's next. So now we've got another troubleshooters, this one with limb damage, which is more useful than the bashing damage one that we got earlier. Unfortunately, it's still troubleshooters. I mean, it's you can certainly do worse, but it's not why I showed up today. I showed up today looking for a quad with an interesting second star, and so far we're not even sniffing anywhere near that. Let's keep moving. All right, we got to be able to do better. Come on. Nope. Here's another stinker. Zealots with Vats hit chance. Talked about why Vats hit chance isn't a good choice on a weapon like this. Zealots, situational effect. There are situations to use it. But again, your Scorched are usually fairly squishy, unless you're talking about a Scorched Beast. Just not really the kind of effect you're going to keep around. You're not going to lug this weapon around with that. Maybe you will if you're running the Bear Arms perk, then you can get away with carrying lots of heavy guns. But uh, I'm definitely not going to keep this one around. We got to do a little better here. Come on, pray to the gods of RNG that we get something a little more interesting than what we have so far. I've got three LMGs left. I can craft more if I need them. And this one is definitely better. This is an improvement. Okay, now we're talking. All right, Vampire's LMG with 25% damage while aiming. It's not what I came for, but it's not bad. The Vampire's effect is one of the better effects that you can get on a heavy gun. Uh, because of the fast fire rate of those weapons, it basically leads to near constant health regeneration making you all but invincible. So that's a very, very good effect to get. It's not the one I was hoping for today. I've already got some good Vampire's LMGs, but this is a good one. 25% damage while aiming as a secondary, also very good. It's still additive damage. It's not a huge buff, but this is a weapon that you're most likely to be using as an ADS, aim down sights kind of weapon. So having a little bonus for doing what you're going to do anyway is a no-brainer. You, you lose nothing, you get a little something out of it, so that's not bad. So we get a little more damage, and we get the Vampire's Effect with this one, so that's not a bad thing. Not what I came for, but definitely a solid roll. All right, and again, oh, okay, so we've got Junkie's LMG that replenishes action points with each kill. I know there's an official name for that effect, but 
For the life of me, I can't remember it, but it doesn't really matter in this case because it's not all that useful for me on this weapon. Uh, not a weapon I'm going to use in VATS, so replenishing action points. The only thing I'm really getting out of that is if I'm sprinting a lot while I'm fighting, then maybe that's a little bit useful, but I really don't think that's going to be a factor. The Junkies effect, definitely still very popular. You get uh, a 50, up to a 50% damage buff, assuming you have five addictions. So solid damage buff. My character's not a junkie character, so I'm not going to get anything out of this one. It'll go back to the script bin for me, but all in all, at least we got a good primary effect. It's not a total embarrassment like what most of this trip has been. Let's try again. We've got one more left, and then I'll craft a couple more. Come on. Ouch. Okay, so here we've got zealots with faster fire rate. So at least we got a good secondary effect here. This would be a good one for somebody who is maybe leveling up a new heavy gunner character, doesn't have a lot of good weapons, at least you get faster fire rate, so you get a nice little effect out of that, and if you get some bonus damage to Scorched on top of it, that's not a bad thing. Faster fire rate is one of a handful of secondary effects that in many cases is more valuable than a lot of the primary effects. So this is definitely the kind of thing that doesn't hurt you to have, and if you get bonus damage to Scorched on top of it, cool, it's a bonus. So not a terrible roll, but uh, not what I'm looking for and not as good as the things I already have. So now I'm going to have to craft up a few more. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And with that out of the way, let's take our next roll. And we've got an Executioner's Light machine gun with faster fire rate. So again, not why I came, but kind of glad I did. This is a really solid piece here. So, Executioner's Effect. Not super desirable on really powerful per-shot weapons, but on weapons like this where you're routinely putting a lot of a lot of shots downrange on your enemy, this is a good effect. You're going to boost up your damage significantly when your target is below 40% health. Excellent against bosses, excellent against big tanky enemies, excellent on any weapons that do high DPS but low per shot damage, which is kind of where all of your heavy guns like to live. This one does pretty good per shot damage, but with faster fire rate, that's definitely, definitely a bonus. Now I'm going to grab just one more legendary core so we have a nice even number, or legendary module rather, so that we can roll three more and see if we get what we came for. Alright, three more to go. Let's see, can we get anything good? Can we get the quad? And here's another Executioner's, so again, just talked about the Executioner's effect and why I like it, not going to beat that dead horse. Bashing damage we had earlier, and anyone who watches these videos with any regularity knows my opinion there. Bashing damage sucks. An increase of 50% to nothing is still nothing. So this one is, uh, Executioner's is good, but the secondary effect sucks. So yeah, this one's going back in the bin. Let's try again. Two more chances and another Vampires. So again, solid primary effect, but now we've got Vat's critical hits doing more damage. That would be awesome on a combat rifle or a fixer or a handmade, but uh, yeah, on this weapon, not so much. Not something I'm going to be using in Vat's, so not going to get a lot of mileage out of that. The Vampires that we rolled earlier is better by far because we get more damage while we're aiming. Uh, this one... Definitely not going to be very useful. Destined to return to the script bin. And we've got one more chance. This is it. And then I'm out of legendary modules. Can we get a quad? Come on, RNG gods. What can we get? What do you have? Love or heartbreak. What do we have? Come on now. One more time. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so we've got a Mutant's LMG with 50% limb damage. The Mutant's effect is kind of interesting. They did change it uh, a few updates ago. So now you get 5% more damage for each mutation up to a total of 5. So it's good for a boost of up to 25% damage, which doesn't really put it on par with many other effects, but you also don't have to give anything up to do it. Uh, if you are a higher level player, you're running around with five or more mutations. More than likely, at least, you're running around with five or more mutations. So you kind of don't have to do anything. It's almost like the damage while aiming buff on a weapon like this. You're doing it anyway, so why not get a little extra damage? Limb damage, I don't love on this. You've got perk cards that are going to do that already, but um, 
I, I guess it's better than some things, but either way, not the best trip to the legendary crafting bench that we've ever had. I shouldn't say that. We did get a couple of good things. Uh, there was that one good executioners. There was another good vampires. So we did get a couple of good things, but it was definitely not why I showed up today. But that's how it goes sometimes. That's why there's a question mark behind the fun with RNG. You just never know. Today, not as much fun. Sometimes it is. We'll see how it goes in the future. But with all that said, that's going to bring this one to a close. I do thank you all for watching and hanging out. Remember, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. There's always more to come, and I hope I see you all next time.